day two of Project OR Cycle 10. The girls have been working hard. Uh, most of the girls got a few hours of sleep last night. Jillian actually stayed up all night working. The fabric blocking that I had in mind got ruined because I ran out of fabric. So now I have to revamp that. I don't know, I don't mind not sleeping, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I feel fine. I got some sleep, four hours. Uh, got a shower, cleaned up, came back, I'm cutting fabric. Got my patterns done last night, and I hope to be sewing by noon. Today has been a work day for the designers. They've been constructing their garments, figuring out all the little details, and they've hit a few roadblocks along the way, but things are looking up. I did have to change my fabric yesterday, so um, it's been a little bit of a challenge trying to get everything taken care of and changing the design elements, but I think I finally got it all figured out. I'm a little worried about making sure that all of the seams are completely finished inside so that it's completely reversible. All of it has to be like really precise and clean, otherwise it looks like an inside and an outside, so I really have to have it like perfect condition. Bemis is an ingredient brand to the industry. We supply adhesive films and seam tape for the outdoor uh, brands. Our films enhance the products. Our films act as an anti-fray agent, uh, improve uh, abrasion resistance, and things like that. So for a film, it does a lot of work. It enhances the fabric. So it's just great that the outdoor industry, and especially the students, the ideas where they choose to use our films is just endless. The design possibilities are, are really exciting. Um, the fabric is pretty easy to work with. I've mostly been doing bonding with the adhesives and it is fantastic. It's a little time consuming, I'm trying to get the hang of it, but I really, really like the product. Right now I'm working on the details and once I get all the details done on each large piece, then putting all the large pieces together it takes like that. I ran into some problems trying to find Velcro, but that got worked itself out, so all is well. <laughs> it's coming together nicely. I, know, I work on a lot of muslins, so I try to get all the kinks out before I spend time on my final garment. So it's coming together. I need to put my um, camel pack idea in the integrated system in. So that's what I'm working on right now because there's a lot of welding I need to do. A little time consuming, but oh well, <laughs> you gotta do it. I almost have both my shells done, my shell and my lining, which means I'd have my hood, pockets, zippers, and trimmings to do overnight. I think I have more time than I do. I feel like I'm gonna be finished soon, but it's taking me longer than I thought to do this stuff, so I'm putting myself on time schedules now. I have to have this done by this time and this done by this time, so hopefully by two in the morning, if I'm not almost to the point of where I know I'm confident is when I'm gonna stress out. Day went well. Day is going to continue going well, hopefully all through the night. I think the biggest challenge, other than time management, it's gonna be like cleanliness. I think when I get tired, you know, sometimes you get sloppy, so I really have to like keep myself focused and not jump from task to task and really just be clean. And as long as the end product is clean and I'm proud of it, then I, I'll come out of this okay. Designers now have 18 hours to finish their designs before scissors down at noon tomorrow.